major. If we walk from the dominant, the fifth scale degree down to the third, we pass down four, five, four, three. And it will have very specific harmonies, voices. And the other direction is different, which we already covered in an other session. So if I walk down and up again, it will be different in the harmonies. I add the cadenza composta, come back to the tonic. So again, let's look at simple voices. The third is the most characteristic voice here because you will stay here on that note you will create the augmented fourth which has a strong energy outwards to resolve so that's the main thing you need to remember this dynamic segment which is to this you can easily add this voice stays creates the ninth the second stays again creates the third so together the strong dissonant harp chord the two four chord in figures resolve to this. The other way around. And you can even add this voice, the fifth. You stay. Basically what you're doing is you play a, a chord, a G major chord. You play the same chord, but then on the F, which creates this whole tension you resolve to to here or a little bit nicer to go down with that voice so that's this segment then you can remember what you are doing if you go up from three towards five is different on the fourth scale degree so we have already seen like something like for example, basically then, then you get on the fourth scale degree, you don't do this strong dissonance as before, but you go with the sixth and the fifth, which leads you up to, for example, like this, or if you prefer way it's both possible so after all I think it's a nice kind of baseline again that you can take as a ground to do your little improvisations minor. <laughs> 